Hello guys, the name is JT here and we're back with a updated video on my how to create uh, a song command for Twitch uh, using Spotify, Tuna, and StreamerBot. So the three things you guys are going to need is obviously Tuna 1.95. Obviously you want to keep it updated and you're going to need WebSocket and StreamerBot. If you already have some of these already installed, just make sure you update it to the most recent update. Okay, so I assumed you guys have those three things installed. The next step is to open up OBS and go to WebSocket server, enable it. And um, if this server password is not there, click generate password because we're going to have to use this information for later in the step. So make sure you guys do that and then click show connection info because you just want to put that in a notepad because you're going to have to have that for later all right so the next step is to go back to obs go to tools tuna settings basic um you can kind of copy what i got here but what's really important is click remove file extension from title and then what you got to do is you got to click add new and then you got to enter a song path on, in like a folder on your computer. For me, mine's in one of my drives and I have it as a text file called current song.txt. You just need to um, fill, that, fill that path to that file. And it's pretty simple. You just go up here and you click here and it'll open up your, it'll open up the, your file explorer for Windows. Or if you're using Mac, it'll open up whatever that is equivalent to. And then what we got to do is make sure this is unchecked chat log mode. Make sure that is not checked because that will interfere with the, with the bot. Um, you can copy this thing here. I'll actually put it in the video description for you guys to copy because it, it displays the artist and the title of the song up to 25 characters and the URL to Spotify as well, which is kind of convenient that they just recently added this. Okay. Cause that wasn't there before. The next thing we're going to have to do is make sure you make the song source Spotify go 250 milliseconds and then go. And then after that, we got to go to Spotify and you got to do some things here. You got to click open page maybe. Yeah. And then once you open the page and log in, then you can do request token and then you can click it, apply. So it's this, this, and uh, this is just to perform a refresh. I don't think we need to do that, but click open login page. I think it will fill these two fields up here. And then you can say request token and then it will fill all these other details here for you automatically. So. That's the process for that. Click apply, go okay, on to the next step. All right, you guys should have that information from WebSocket in a notepad. The next step is to open up StreamerBot and go to platform accounts. Here's where you gotta sign into your main Twitch account and your bot account. So how you do that is you go to Twitch, you sign into your main account, come back to StreamerBot, click sign in. Go back to Twitch, log out of your main account on Twitch, sign in with your bot account on Twitch, come back to streamer bot and click sign in here. Once that's connected, then you can log out of your um, bot account on Twitch and sign back into your main account. The next step is to go to stream apps, OBS, and then right click add. And here's where we need that information that you saved to that notepad document. You need to change the port and then you need to enter the password and then you need to check these two um, check boxes here and then click OK and go to Actions tab. And then we're going to have to create uh, an action. So you can just right click and add and then you can name it to name it song. And then inside here is where we have to create a read line. So what you right click, go to Core. And then go to File I.O. and go Read Lines from File. Read Lines from File. Once you got that added, it will be in this list here. Then you can Go to that path where you save that file it, when we were working in, in Tuna, and then you can add it there and make sure these are not checked. Okay, so now we need to add the Twitch message. So we go right click, 
go down to Twitch, go to chat, and then send message to channel. Once you added that, then you can select the account you want it to put in your chat, which I have as bot, and it should be showing up as that to you as well. And then I'm gonna add this um, this uh, message snippet to the description of this video so you guys can copy and paste it in. The important part of here is this variable here, so line zero. So basically it's going to that text file and grabbing the first line of that text file, which will be our song and all the da data that we will need for it to display that in the chat. So make sure that this is correct. Click OK, save. After you set up this, the action which we went through already, we're going to have to go to the command tab and go to and create. Click add, add command. So it's going to look like this. So I'm just going to open up mine so then you can copy it. So I have it on basic included enables exact location exclamation song. The next thing you're going to want to do, do forget about this group. I just added it in a group to make it easier for me to navigate in stream robot. The next thing you're going to want to do is select the action which we made in the previous step. And then you're going to want to go Twitch messages source. And you can add cooldowns if you want. Um, doesn't really matter, honestly. It depends. Well, I guess it depends on how many viewers you have in your streams, but there, here's where you would, um, add the cooldown. I just added a 30 second global cooldown. You could make it so you have user permissions and group permissions. So then they can, um, exclude them from the cooldown, which I'm not quite sure how to do that. Sure you, can fit, sure, you can Google it and find out if you want to do that extra little bit of tweaking. But after that setup, and it should be it should be good to go. The only issue that you may come across is when you play a song. When you're not playing a song, it's going to use this placeholder here. Let me bring over my OBS. It's going to be playing this. It's going to show this placeholder. So you have to be playing a song in order for it to show up in the chat. And don't forget to make sure you click start here to start tuna because it's always going to be running in the background and then click apply. You can play around with the refresh rate of this. It just determines how fast it's going to detect a switching of the song. So if you're playing one song and switch, if someone Types the it says the uh, exclamation point song in your chat before 250 milliseconds, it won't display the current song that you just switched to. So you can play around with this. I'm not sure if this affects any of your system resources, but yeah, just play around with this number and make sure when you change it, when you do change this number, click stop and then click start again and then click apply. And you should be all good to go. Open up stream, oh, uh, Spotify. We're going to have to use some non copyrighted music for this video, of course. So we're going to use stream beats. Go to chill. All right. So now we're listening to some chill music. Type the command in song. And there it is. The song current, the, the current song playing is stream beats by Harris Heller. My happy place. There's the link. Which is very convenient that they, they they have the link now. In my old version of the video, they never had that. So we can pause this. I'll show you what it looks like when there's no song playing. The song playing is no song playing. <laughs> it's kind of some messed up wording, but you, you it, it conveys the message across. Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Peace.